Welcome YouTube to the eighth race of the F1 1960 season. Um, last race was a bit of a, a rainy affair, so hopefully Portugal will be uh, a bit nicer, which is the track that we're going to now. Um, I I believe that this is uh, a purpose-built track, unlike uh, the last Portugal track that we had um, for I think I believe it was 58 and, and 59, um, but. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Uh, here are the standings. Uh, we're fourth at the moment with 18 points, two wins, uh, no other point scores. Um, uh, I'm hoping to finish maybe third for the championship. Would be nice to finish third. Um, and in the constructors' championship, obviously Cooper just running away with the the championship at the moment. Uh, Scuderia Centro Sud uh, won their first point in the last race. It was uh, it was a very, very wet race, and I unfortunately had dries on. So um, I will do some qualifying, do some practice, and I'll be back at the start of the race. Well, welcome back. Um, I had a very, very good qualifying, nearly 10 seconds faster than my teammate Jack Brabham. Um, I got a good car set up. Uh, it turns out that this track's actually the, um, the street race that we had. Um, not last season, I think it was the season before the 58 season, because I don't think the 59 season had it. I'm not sure. Anyway, um, I will go four laps of fuel, because that's all I'll need. And let's uh, get going here. Front of the pack here at Portugal. And off we go. We get a bad start and get swamped at the very beginning. Um, hopefully my qualifying pace uh, carries over to the, to the race here. And we do nearly what we did first lap of last time we came here, which was spin out at the very beginning of the race. Uh, but we've got very good straight line speed, so we're going to try and use that to our advantage here to catch back up. Um, look, we're just mowing through these cars here. Um, yeah, no, we've got very good trail lines there, and I also set it up so that it had uh, good acceleration um, and um, uh, quite good grip as well. Um, and that way, uh, yeah, I can make the most of, of the different parts of the track as we break hard for this next uh, section here. As we move up into the points positions here, uh, we've got Inner Island in front of us. Um, at the moment, he's, he's our rival in terms of standing, you know, championship standing. And this corner is very hard to get right. You're going to break at the absolute perfect moment and not spin like that. Right. Damn it. Alright, uh, well, we've got some work to do. Um, we've got Chicken Legendagon in front of us. Come on. I know I, I've got the pace, I've just got to not spin out. So you go that some of the corners too slow, you don't have enough mechanical grip and you spin. You go too fast um, and you spin because you're unstable. So it's just the balance, getting it right is hard. Um, but it's a very rewarding track to get right if you do get it right. Luciano Bianchi in front of us there. Here's another hard breaking point here. I'm just trying to make my way through the pack here. Oh my goodness gracious me. Going way too slow there. Um, and we're back to our point scoring position here as we're trying to get around in this island and I've hit the curb and pirouetted. And um, I'm back on track. That's alright. That didn't end too badly. Okay. 
Uh, I do have a bit of steering problems though, however, so that might affect my race. Um, but by looks of things, I'm catching his island there and leaving Jim Clark behind. Um, I can see him up ahead. I, I don't know how this is going to affect my race in terms of steering, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how I go. These corners, you got to be careful. Um, as I said before, you don't want to go too fast or too slow uh, because the corners will punish you. This is a very challenging track. I mean, it is a street circuit, so it's a bit more greasy than than your normal, you know, race track. And then it's got these cobblestone um, sections um, in between the just the normal road sections. So it's a very challenging circuit, like a di like different sort of dynamics. It's got two long straights, and then it's got this curvy back section here. Um, so it's a it's a nice track. We've got a bit of understeer with uh, with the impact that we made earlier on. We're approaching two cars ahead of us. We've got to be careful now because we've got a bit of understeer. Sterling Moss is a bit hard to get past, but I know that I'm faster. And we go around Sterling Moss in fourth place now. And I'm understeering all over the show. Damn. Well, at least we've got only one more lap to go. Uh, otherwise, this understeer would get would become a pain in my butthole pretty quickly. And our championship rival is ahead of us in his island. We're not fighting for the championship, but um, like his position I want. <laughs> I do want his position in, in the standings and I've just gone right past him there. How did I cut the track? I don't know how I cut the track though, right? That's weird. See, I nailed that corner that time. But, um, I've got Jack Rubman ahead of us. I'm, I'm in the, uh, I'm in a podium position at the moment, which is good. And I've got a bit of, uh, tug on my left side. If I can't want to steer to the left. So we get right behind Jack Rubman, my teammate and go for the overtake here and we move up into second place Phil Hill just three seconds ahead of us I don't think we're going to be able to catch him but I'm so I'm just going to focus on um, staying in the race and not do anything stupid I can imagine what kind of torture this uh, console would have done to the suspension on these old F1 cars. Stepping out a bit there, being careful, trying not to pirouette. Don't want to lose my second place position here. And this is the hardest section with this understeer on. Um, I can't go as fast as I would normally go. I just have to be careful. There's the understeer. Yeah. Oh damn it. Pushing the final two bends here. My teammate Jack Rubin right on my gearbox. Oh, and we passed Phil Hill right at the very end, just before the line to win the race. I didn't expect that to happen. I'm I'm quite fast through that section. The AI slowed down quite a bit, and I don't know why this 
this this camera is under the uh you know, under the track here but that's, uh <laughs> that was a pretty amazing win right there. God I wanna see the damage in the front of my car, it looks all scrunched up. Damn, I, I didn't get to see it, but it looks it looked all sort of crunched up at the at the uh end there. Uh, but funnily enough, I didn't actually have a faster average speed than a majority uh, than actually no, I did. Sorry, whoops, just derp there. Um, but um, that puts us ahead of Inns Island in the construct uh, in the driver standings. Uh, we're now third after three wins of the season. We've started to climb back up, but I think it's a bit too late. Uh, there's only two more races in the season, uh, so I think we're out of contention. Uh, just let me do the maths in my head. We, no, we're still mathematically in contention. It's just going to be very unlikely that Jack is going to not score a point uh, between now and then. Because, um, of course, we can score a maximum of 18 points. Um, and that would mean... That would give us 45... Um, yeah, 45 points, uh, I think. Yeah, 45 points. Uh, so assuming Jack Robin doesn't score any points for the next two races, that would be the championship, but I don't think that'll happen. And yeah, Cooper on 70 points, but it is very close here between Ro um, Rob Walker Racing, Ferrari, and Team Lotus here. You know, they're going to be f squabbling for those uh, other places. So thank you guys for watching. The next race will be at Monza, uh, the the 10k version with the uh, the embankment. So I'll uh, see you guys then. Goodbye.